Tabs have been a great feature in Safari and more recently in the Finder. Now in Sierra, tabs are available in any app that can open multiple documents at once. I'm going to use pages in the example in this lesson, but tabs are going to work for other third-party apps as well, and they'll do it automatically without the need to be updated first. In the Doc System Preference pane, there's now a Prefer Tabs when opening multiple documents menu. If this is set to manually, when I want to open or create a new document here in Pages, it's going to open in a new window. To move these into tabs, I need to go up to the Window menu and Merge All Windows. Now both documents are in a single window with two tabs that I can switch between, rearrange, or close, just like we can in Safari and the Finder. There's even a new tab button here, which will let me create another new document in a third tab. Let's just keep one document open now and go into full screen. When I create a new document, it's added to a new space. I can still use the window menu to merge these into tabs. Back in Doc Preferences, we can set this to happen automatically only when in full screen. So now while in full screen, when I type Command N to create a new document, it's placed in a new tab. No need for me to do it manually from the window menu. Switch this menu to Always and tabs will be the default when opening multiple documents and apps, whether they're running in full screen or not. I'll open up three documents and pages. Now let's try in Sparkle, a web design app. When I create a new site, it's automatically placed in a new tab. This can take a little time to get used to, but I'm really starting to like it. I think it'll be especially helpful for those of you that have MacBooks with smaller displays.